Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for popping in the Inspirate channel today, uh, Inspirators. My name is Tony Doyle from TonyDoyleInspires.com. I do want to welcome you, and um, I, I do appreciate you uh, checking us out every day for our new content. Today, I believe we have a video uh, of some importance, um, some things that I think you are going to uh, be able to implement into your life right away, and that you will also understand why it's so important to get this down. We are talking about focus, inspirators. Focus. Um, so if that's something you lack in your life, um, this is going to be the show for you, okay? So without any further ado, I want to jump right into it, but if you have not already, please do subscribe to our channel. Um, hit the little bell symbol too, and that'll give us... Uh, uh, well, we'll give you a notification every time we upload new content, and we are uploading content um, nearly every day, five to seven videos a week, um, to keep you inspired, motivated, and positive uh, in your journey <clears throat> as we go along. So do that. As always, uh, I will invite you to hit the thumbs up if you like this video. It actually works uh, with the algorithm in YouTube. Uh, for suggested videos to like-minded folks who may not know uh, to check out our channel, okay? So do that, and as always, the best way uh, to share the message is to share directly. So feel free to post this link uh, to this video in your own social media platforms, pages, groups, etc. All right, that being said, let's get right into it. I don't want to um, drag this out too much because we are talking about a super important aspect uh, of life and really one of the most important things as far as manifesting those things into your life, um, which you would like, and that is focus. Focus, 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 okay? We are living in a super fast-paced world, all right, where we can be distracted easily by lots of things every single day, okay? Um, here's the thing. The way manifestation works is we have to put our focus, our attention on something, right? So energy flows where attention goes, okay? So... When we want to manifest something into our life, it takes focus. Um, and unfortunately, we're getting less and less adept at being able to do that. So I thought we should, um, we should put our attention on, you know, the piece of focus. It can truly change your life um, just by uh, being able to shine a light in certain areas um, and not be distracted by other things. You know, whether negativity or it could be other positive things that just um, spread your energy out and doesn't give you as much power, okay? It's necessary to understand why focus is important so we can use it to our advantage, all right? So let's talk a little bit about, about focus, okay? Focus can be life-changing, right? And here's how. Focus changes lives dramatically, because when we focus on certain aspects, we can make our life better, right? Um, and here's how. Like I said, where we focus our energy is where um, things grow in our life, you know? It's where we shine our light, right? Um, the secret of change is to focus all our energy not on fighting the old, but I'm building the new. Life changes when we decide to change it, okay? So we need that awareness. We need that focus. Um, you need to start working on change and planning for it, okay? The more you focus in life, the better life can be, all right? So it can be life-changing just by shining our awareness on certain aspects, okay? It also gives us more opportunities See, focus can help us to discover the path that we don't even know exists. And this is how. See, we become blind with our problems in life. And when we give our focus to other things in the periphery, whether good or bad, it doesn't matter because 
uh, it actually takes us away from being able to see all of the possibilities, okay? I'm sure you've heard it said, when you focus on problems, you'll have more problems. When you focus on the possibilities, you'll see more opportunities. And it's 100% true, okay? Um, what we put our attention to grows, okay? I can't say this enough times. So we need to start looking for possibilities in our life because that opens the door to opportunity, okay? And like I said, the opportunities are always there. It's really just changing the focus, our perceptions, okay? So here's the thing. Lots of times it doesn't pay to listen to other people, all right? Remember that focus is important in your life in order to embrace opportunities around you, okay? Especially if you are not someone who has five super successful, motivated people around you, okay? <clears throat> if you've got other, you know, if you're a healer type person, like lots of us are, and you've got negative people around you that you're trying to help, just realize that they are not going to help you focus on what's important, okay? So take, um, take opinions with a grain of salt, honestly, okay? Um, just realize that when you focus on the positive, you will open up more opportunities for positive things in your life, all right? All right. <clears throat> Also, focus can expand knowledge, okay? Focus will help you expand your intelligence and knowledge because when you focus on learning, your knowledge will expand eventually. Once again, where you put your energy is what's going to grow. If you focus on learning new things every single day, make learning a priority in your life, then that's what's going to happen. However, there are things going to be a distraction around you, right? That's where focus comes into play. So when you, uh, when you focus on expanding your knowledge, your life will automatically expand as well, okay? <clears throat> it will. So once again, you know, with knowledge, that gives you opportunity uh, for more power. They say knowledge is power, but of course the use of that knowledge is really what's power. Um, However, unless you focus on gaining the knowledge, then you won't have the potential, okay? Um, focus also helps you be more productive, okay? Distractions will always knock at your door, okay? That's life. Um, but you do have the choice to choose on what you focus on, right? Uh, focus will help you become more productive both at work and in life, okay? It will help you bring your attention towards particular tasks uh, as primary objectives. Everything else is secondary, okay? So make sure you do that. Shine your focus on the things that have the most impact. People don't focus on being productive, okay? It's, it's very often not the case that that's someone's focus. Usually people focus on being busy, okay? They focus on um, doing a lot of things not so well as opposed to doing one or two things really well, okay? This is a trap, so be careful about spreading your focus too thin, okay? Um, focus will help you achieve your goals if you do it in the right way. Like I said, your focus will determine the level of achievement you get in life, period, Okay? When you bring your focus to achieve something into your life, you will reach that goal eventually. Otherwise, you'll end up wasting your time and energy on a bunch of useless random things. Okay? Life is like a camera. They say focus on what's important and you will capture it. Okay? If you want to reach your targets, bring your focus to the goals and keep working until you achieve it. It is inevitable. Realize it's already yours. And, and focus definitely also speeds up um, your success. So when you're focused, um, no one can stop you to achieve the success. Successful people are focused on a mission, right? 
Uh, they work on their goals every single day, but they have focused goals. This helps them achieve success faster than anyone else, okay? But most people, they try something, don't stay consistent, and it ends up becoming a roadblock. It ends up becoming a limiting belief because it's something they say, well, I tried that, it doesn't work, right? Or I, I'm not good at this, those type of things. It's a limiting belief. Focus is important in your life to achieve the success you desire, point blank period. Successful people minimize distractions and increase focus. All right, so that being said, we've all had days where we can't seem to focus, right? Asking that question too many times to count, right? For some of us, those days are more common than we'd like to admit. So whether it's fatigue, distractions, uh, lack of motivation, or something entirely different, our inability to focus digs a hole in our productivity and therefore can jeopardize our chance of success whatever that means for us and whatever we've identified as success for us in our life, okay? <clears throat> but here's the thing. There are ways that we can stay focused in our life, small little ways, and you don't have to go to extremes to stay focused, okay? So what I've done is put together 15 tips here that scientists have found to enhance focus in our life. And remember, focus is important, okay? Because, why? Just in recap, what we focus on is what grows in our life. Okay? So when we don't focus on anything, lots of little things grow. Okay? It's like the weeds. But when we focus on the corn plant and we make sure that it's getting sunlight and water and food, right? then that grows. That's what's going to develop, and that's what we're going to be able to harvest, all right? So, let me give you these 15 tips. As always, I say these are. this is not an all-inclusive list at all, but it's just 15 things that I use in my life to stay focused, and I believe that you could help yourself be focused as well. So, number one, minimize multitasking. Hmm, okay, multitasking seems like a good productivity strategy, but it's not, okay? Multitaskers seem superhuman sometimes, okay? But here's the thing, they pay a big price. According to a 2009 Stanford study in a sample of 100 Stanford students, about half identified themselves as multitaskers, the other half did not. The test examined attention spans, memory capacity, and ability to switch from one task to the next. The multitaskers performed more poorly across the board than those who identified themselves as focused. They're suckers for irrelevancy. Everything distracts them, said one researcher in the study. So that's the first tip. Minimize multitasking. Focus on the most important tasks. Number two, meditate. Meditate. I, I tell you this in almost every single video. Uh, if the saying is practice makes perfect, which we know practice brings progression is more likely, meditation is a sure way to enhance focus because it takes a great deal of concentration. This is a great benefit, okay? Uh, scientific experiment uh, experiments have agreed studies um, from the University of North Carolina, for example, revealed that students who meditate for 20 minutes a day for four days a week performed far better on cognitive tests than those who did not. Practice brings progress. All right? Meditate. Exercise regularly. This is also something that comes up great in, um, all the time in performance videos, right? You've heard me say this. Exercise is just, just not good for the body. It also promotes, promotes brain health, okay, which is important for memory capacity, uh, concentration, and cognitive ability. According to uh, John Rady, associate with the clinical professor at psychiatry at Harvard Medical School, 
Um, in particular, scientists think that regular exercise helps stimulate the re release of chemical called brain-derived uh, neurotropic factor, right? Um, research suggests helps rewire memory circuits to uh, improve brain function. All right, so exercise regularly. Number three, establish a to-do list. I tell you this all the time also, right? Lists, write it down. To-do lists not only help you prioritize your tasks that you need to get done first, but they can also serve as a record of loose ends, okay? And once again, a to-do list should be uh, put as a task of priorities, okay? We don't want to multitask with a to-do list. We want to know what's most important and do those things first, okay? Um, Cal Newport is a computer science professor and author of the book Deep Work um, told a business insider that having a recording of all the things you need to do can help you stay focused on the current task and upcoming tasks. If you don't have this, he said, an incomplete uh, complete work can eat away at your concentration. This stems from something um, called the Z-mark effect, okay, which is the tendency to remember incomplete tasks instead of completed ones. All right, so to-do list, check things off. <clears throat> this next one, small amounts of caffeine, okay? Small amounts, small. This is not 12 coffees. <laughs> if you are feeling groggy, grab a cup of coffee or other caffeinated beverage, okay? Studies suggest that caffeine in moderate doses can help boost focus, particularly in those of us who uh, are fatigued, okay? But do not go overzealous with the coffee or you might get uh, caffeine jitters, okay, which typically reduce your ability to concentrate, all right? So small amounts of caffeine. Taking breaks, super important, okay? You might have heard that watching videos on YouTube can improve productivity, and that is sort of true, okay? Okay, whether it's watching videos, taking a walk, or just closing your eyes for a few minutes, it's critical to take an occasional break from work, okay? In one study, 84 subjects were asked to perform simple tasks for an hour. Those who were allotted two brief breaks during that hour performed consistently better for the entire time, whereas those who weren't offered a break performed worse as the uh, lesson went on, right? All right, so it's important to take some breaks. Keep your work at work, okay? Completely separate yourself after leaving the office and having long separations before the next day. Okay, apart from just giving your brain a break, research suggests that having downtime away from a problem could help you solve it. According to Unconscious Thought Theory, stepping away from difficult situations can help you to um, come to a better conclusion than trying to resolve it in one sitting and becoming frustrated. Okay, the next tip is train your brain to focus. The brain is a mental muscle. And some studies have found that people who are easily distracted benefit from brain training, okay? These are exercises like puzzles, quizzes, and strategy games, okay? So train your brain for success. And, and uh, try to find a quiet place, okay? Trying to find a quiet place is important. Studies have proven that ambient noises like cars, uh, honking or kids laughing in the background can stimulate the release of stress hormone cortisol. Too much cortisol uh, can impair uh, brain function and hinder focus. And unfortunately, the more we're exposed to ambient noise, the worse our bodies respond to it. Okay? And also, uh, another tip here, stare at distant objects for a few minutes. I don't know if you've heard about this, but definitely works. I use this myself. Uh, many of us spend our waking hours staring at digital screens, okay? 
if you're somebody who uses the computer a lot, you know what I mean. This can um, strain your eyes and actually make it more difficult to focus and therefore process uh, what you're looking at. To refocus your eye, stare at a distant object for a few minutes. Um, there is a, a, a rule out there called the 20-20-20 rule. Um, according to one doctor, it goes like this. For every 20 minutes, take 20 seconds to stare at an object 20 feet away. Okay, This will help you uh, refocus and reduce eye strain. Okay, Getting a good night's sleep. I tell you this in video after video. Sleep is super important. Um, one of the main symptoms of chronic sleep loss is poor concentration, okay? Getting a solid seven to eight hours um, ahead of a busy work day uh, is, could be the difference between being frazzled and being laser focused, okay? Um, designate a perfect spot to study, okay? Focusing requires a lot of willpower and so does making decisions. According to a concept called ego depletion, we have a finite amount of mental energy. And both decision making and willpower drain it. Okay? So to save energy for concentration, proponents of the theory suggest getting rid of excess variables that require you to make a lot of silly decisions. Make them up front, like choosing where to work. Try working from a location um, where you don't need to provide extra focus. For example, that way, when it's time to get the work done, you won't have to waste time deciding where to go. You'll know somewhere to go without distraction. Um, embracing boredom. This may say seem counterproductive, but honestly, uh, this is a great way. Uh, this is a great brain hack. Okay. If you're used to needing multiple forms of stimulation while relaxing, quote-unquote relaxing, okay, it may have a negative impact on your ability to focus. Okay? So instead of checking Facebook from your phone while watching Netflix, instead, why not pick up um, one of the two activities uh, taking a break from stimulation from the other? Okay? In small doses, it's okay. In fact, it's helpful. But when, um, you know, obviously the more we practice anything, the more it becomes a necessity in our life. So we want to try to limit that, okay? And finally, uh, devoting s uh, specific hours to task, okay? We talked about that uh, disconnecting before, but we've all been there. You show up. Uh, at the coffee shop, the whole day is ahead of you, but you just can't focus um, even for an hour or two. Um, giving yourself tighter parameters helps cut down the amount of decisions you have to make, like picking a consistent focus spot. Designated focus hours also helps fend off energy depletion. So no going in, you're going to study for one hour. Then you're going to take a break and get a coffee, a little bit of caffeine in you, and then you'll get back to work, okay? So the whole point of this video is to reinforce not only that focus is important, but that we can make little, um, little, little twists, little um, um, pre-paving of your day um, to increase ways for focus um, to occur in our daily life, even one that's typically filled with distraction, okay? Focus can change your life if used correctly. Successful people know the importance of focus in life. Your focus will determine the level of success you achieve, okay? When your focus is aligned with your actions, it will produce great results. As the golden rule of flow states, flow follows focus okay so if you want to get to a point where you're flowing energy is flowing through your life it takes focus okay focus is the key to manifestation okay and um i just want to wind this up one one great quote on focus that i i do want to uh that i'll end with here is uh one of my mentors on, on uh, in prosperity 
and uh, it, it goes like this, focus as an anagram, follow one course until successful, focus, okay? Makes a lot of sense, right? So find out what your priority is, make it a priority, and then put your focus on that task, okay? Let's go ahead and accomplish some things, let's get out there, feel good, and we start that positive energy flowing, you know, and of course, um, once it starts flowing, you can't slow it down. So, all right, that's our video for today. Hopefully it's been helpful. Um, I, I definitely hope you guys go out and try some of these strategies to stay more focused. Um, pinpoint some of your things. If you're like me, I'm somebody who has trouble being focused, believe it or not. Uh, I actually have to use these uh, techniques because I'm a super creative person and I have a million different things that I could see being fun and successful and you know um, so therefore I need to put them in a to-do list and I need to uh, work on them consistently uh, to know which ones are more important um, and where to put my focus where to put my energy okay follow one course until successful and then you can expand right so hopefully this has been helpful I've been Tony Doyle for Tony Doyle Inspires .com. thanks for popping in the Inspirate channel, uh, channel today. Um, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification because uh, that'll you know, give us a chance to give you the notification when we upload new videos. Okay, If you like this video, give it a like. If you loved it, share it out. Appreciate you guys tuning in every day. And uh, until tomorrow, offer